Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I've got some really exciting news to share with you guys today. There's been an OpenXR update. So uh, what that means is that the developer tool for Windows Mixed Reality has been updated and uh, the motion projection has been extended. So what you're witnessing here is me approaching Bogota in Colombia in my uh, Icon A5. So you can see the FPS counter on the top left hand corner of the screen. And um, it's ranging between 22.5 around that to, to, to 23 maybe even, sometimes down to 21 and a half. So you may be thinking, why has he got such low FPS on the counter there, 22.5? So the reason it all works is because the developer tool allows for lower frame rates with motion projection on, that in turn gives a smoother experience. So it basically gives you a smooth experience without the need for high FPS. So what you need to do in the OpenXR software is make sure in the settings section that you've got uh, the preview selected as on. Um, I've got my custom render scale at 70%, like I explained in the last video, and I, I kept that because I, I, I want to keep that setting. Um, motion project reprojection is automatic. Okay, so it's always on, it's always happening. So the PC, will, the, the software will adapt to the performance of the sim. So this software will try and stop any stuttering from happening by jumping um, in between frames based on the FPS. Uh, that the, the software is running at uh, to hopefully give us a smooth experience. That's the idea. Because of this new update, I've managed to change a few settings in my VR uh, sim settings. So you can see on the screen now the settings that I've got, um, mostly ultra settings, because that reprojection enables a smoothness anyway, so I can afford to go higher up in the settings. You'll notice that the uh, render scaling is at 80% still. That's because I prefer really good smoothness, so I prioritize the smoothness over the high resolution. So based on your system, feel free to use my settings if that suits your, uh, your setup, or just tinker with these settings to try and get the smoothest possible uh, experience. So I'm playing the simulator at 90 hertz in the headset. So that's one real frame plus three interpolated frames. So 30 hertz equals one real frame plus two interpolated frames. Uh, so you can see the numbers at the top there, 22.5, and then there's 45. There's another uh, break in there in 30. I'm not sure about anything else in between those numbers, but basically what it means is if you've got like lower FPS, it will smooth it out more as you hit those low numbers and it will jump around automatically to try and best fit and keep your experience smooth. That's as much as I understand. It actually means that your head movement is updated at 90 FPS, but the game only has to update every fourth frame. So basically the WMR software will shift things around to match your head motion in the other frames. It can sometimes cause like weird shimmery effects and art visual artifacts um, and wavy, wavy effects, which I don't really like, but I've been trying it out and it's, there's not much in terms of artifacts on my system and it's just made it so much smoother. In order to use the updated tool, what you need to do on your own system is to make sure that you've got the latest uh, version of OpenXR. Um, this latest version is now 106.2104.15001.0, which is on the screen now. And I'm using the NVIDIA driver 466.11. Yes, it's the newest one. The, reason, the main reason why is because uh, I'm doing a lot of editing, so I need to have the updated drivers. Otherwise, they start that, that software can start crashing. So that's what we, the main reason why I have that. But um, also, it runs fine. So I've done doing a lot of tests, um, and it's it's fine. So I'm going to stick with this for now. That's pretty much it in terms of setup. The reason why is because it's all automated. So just make sure you've got the latest version of the OpenXR developer tool. Uh, you can see it here in the Windows Store, and um, Download that and follow my instructions, and it should give you a very good uh, performance change. You should see a lot of changes in terms of smoothness, especially low uh, low altitudes. So I'm really excited about the new OpenXR update, and I think it'll make a lot of difference to a lot of people with different types of uh, setups. I really think this sim is improving monthly. And with this latest update, I think we're gonna get closer to the ultimate experience for the simulator. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps. Um, please like and subscribe if you find the content useful. And um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, take care and stay safe.